good people it's your boy and today i'm back again with another great tutorial for you guys today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make those dark uh synth beats for kid Cudi. so kid Cudi uh, recently dropped his new album called man on the moon 3 and i got really inspired by the song called the killer shots and today i wanted to make a beat like that so that's what i'm gonna be doing in this video before we get into the video though make sure to drop a like make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload so without further ado, let's get straight to the tutorial. So here I open up analog lab and I have here this preset exit from loophole 2 and it's just a pad. I've set my tempo to 90 and I'm using this F minor scale. And now I'm going to lay down a simple chord progression using this pad. So now that you have this score progression down, I'm going to randomize the velocities a little bit. And I'm just going to strum the notes as well. So it gives it more of a natural vibe. So I'm going to explain a little bit what I did here. So this is an F minor chord and this is a C minor chord I think and this is also F, uh, F minor chord but I just moved this C one octave down and that's pretty much it now I'm going to add some more melodies on top of this and stuff like that so I'm going to open up yet another instance of analog lab and I'm going to try to find uh, something like a pluck or a bell to layer with this sound Okay, now I'm going to add some effects to this plug. What is this? This is some keys, yeah, from Analog Lab. First off, let's add some reverb. And let's use this uh, Thin Plates preset. And let's add some delay as well. Now I'm going to open up uh, another instance of Analog Lab and I'm going to add some leads or something like that on top of this. And then I'm going to add some sub bass and I'm going to move on to drums. Okay, that sounds cool let's add some effects to this as well first i want to add a little bit of eq cut some of the low and on the high and i want to lower this sound a little bit and some reverb and i'm also going to use a tin plate for this as well Let's add some effects to this pad as well. I'm going to use some secret sauce. Now I'm going to add a sub bass and I'm going to use Omnisphere for that. Now let's use this, this growler root bass. And let's just follow the root notes here.
And let's just cut out the low frequency out of the melody so the sub bass and the array that I'm going to add will not clash with the melody itself. And now let's start laying down these drums. I'm going to use uh, these kids for this. So let's find a good snare. Just move this chord here. So if you wonder how I did that, I just uh, selected both chords and I just hold shift and move this one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to do the same for this here as well. And let's change this up a little bit. Okay, let's copy these kicks to the add eight and let's follow the root notes or we can just copy the sub bass here oh we can we also need to fix the sub bass yeah and we can just copy that over to the uh to the add eight here and let's just move it one octave up So now I'm going to open up Arcade and look for a good look for a good vocal sample that will fit this beat. So we're working in F minor, so let's set the scale here to F minor. Now let's play with these presets a little bit. Okay, these presets sound insane. Let's just add a little bit of reverb and let's just push these vocals in the back so they're more of like a background thing and not the lead or something like that. So first off, let's seek out the certain frequency that I don't like. And let's add uh, some reverb, as I said. Again, I'm going to use this thin plate preset. And let's open up yet another instance of Arcade and I'm going to look for some strings and stuff like that. Because this beat feels a little bit empty so I think the strings is exactly what this beat needs. So. this arcade sound insane let's just add some reverb and stuff like that i mean this doesn't even need reverb i'm just going to echo the low frequencies and let's just add some s1 imager to this to kind of widen the sound a little bit
And let's just go back to the drums and add some percussion and some rim shots, some open hats. And let's add some rolls to this and stuff like that. I want to make it so experimental with these hi-hats. And let's randomize the velocities a little bit of these hi-hats. And let's see how the whole beat sounds so far. And that is pretty much it for this beat. I hope you guys did enjoy. I think this beat turned out really good. So let me know what you think about this beat in the comment section below. Uh, thank you so much for watching, I'm gonna let you guys listen to the full beat now, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Who can make the beat?